Now we are going to start with working on our routes and we will handle our get request. Type this server.js. Below this, I will be writing app and from this, I am just going to access this get method. And inside this, I am just going to give the route. I will give slash, which means whenever I hit the route, I want something should be displayed. And that something I will be defining inside this route handler. Inside this handler, first we will pass request and then we are going to pass response. I will give this arrow function. And from this response, I will access the status property. And here I will be giving 200, which means as soon as I hit this route, everything is fine. And I should be having the status as 200. Then on this, I will be giving this JSON method. And inside this JSON method, I will be passing message property. Here I will write message. And inside this, I will write all products. Okay, simple. As soon as I hit this route, I just want to display this result. Now I will save this. I will search for postman. And inside this, here we are having this plus symbol. Click on this. Here we will have multiple requests. I will click on this request. Now inside this, we have to specify our route. For that, First, we will write HTTP colon slash localhost, then colon, and here we are going to specify our port number. Our backend application is running on 8000, so here we will pass 8000. And after that, I will specify my route. I will click on send. Now, here you can see whatever message. I have passed inside the JSON successfully. I am able to get that message. Even if I do not give this, I will click on send. Then also, I will be having the same result because that slash is indicating root. So, as soon as we click on send, whatever data we are having, that result we are going to get. But now, we do not want this route. Instead, I just want to specify API. And then I will be giving the version number and after that I will be giving products. Because I want to get all the products so in my route I will be giving products. Now I will come here. Now if I click on send without specifying the route I will be having this error. Now I have to give the proper route API slash v1 slash products. Now I will click on send. Again, successfully, I am able to get the result. So, this will be the route for getting all the products. Now, what I want, I just want to define the same route for getting single product. Here, I will give the same thing. Instead of products, I will give product. And here, I will give the message as single product. Save this. And this is nothing but our handler function. Come here. I will click on this plus. And from here, I will copy this entire thing. And inside this, I am going to paste. Now, instead of products, I will specify product and click on send. Now, you can see whatever data we are having inside this JSON, successfully, we are able to get that data. If you're working in very simple project and if you're having one or two routes, then this is fine. But this is Merne e-commerce project and here in this way, we cannot define the route. This is very bad practice. So what we will do, we are just going to refactor our code. And this entire functionality, whatever we are having, for that we will be creating one complete function. Above this, I will write const. I will give the function name as get all products. And for this, I will assign this complete thing. Remove from here. And for this function, I will assign this value. 
now here in place of that handler function i will be passing my function name and here i will close this function whatever previous functionality we wrote that is exactly same as this i will save come to postman this is our products i will click on send again i will be having the same result same thing i will do for this route i will write here const i will give the function name as get single product and for this i'm just going to assign this complete thing copy cut it from here and here i will be pasting and inside this i will be passing my function now save it come here come to this product click on send again we are going to have the same result but what if i tell you this is still not ideal inside this we can only define one single function but i am having the same route and again i do not want to repeat the same thing for example if i create like this and here i am having the function create product and for this we will be using post and for this and for this we are having the same url again in this case i do not have to repeat the same thing so what we will do here we will be passing app dot route and inside this we are going to specify the route we will remove this entire function and here we will tell whenever we do the get request we simply have to call this get all products function let me comment this as of now come here i will come to this products click on send again i will be having the same result now if we do this the advantage is we can chain multiple routes now here i am having post request and inside this if we are having the same route then easily we can chain this post request and we can pass the function which we have to execute as of now we have not created the function i will remove this same thing i will be doing for this get single product i will write here route here we are having different route so that is the reason i am just defining app dot route i will remove this entire thing and again here i will be writing get and whenever this request is hit i have to call this function okay you can see we are just refactoring our code again i will come here if i click on send everything is working fine but still it is not ideal because later we will have port request delete request multiple get request and all the things i do not want to include in server.js file so for that we are going to create better folder structure here inside this backend i will be creating one folder i will give the folder name as controller again inside this backend i will be creating one folder routes and inside this routes i will give product route dot js now inside this product routes first we are going to import express import express from express and then inside this express we are having access to router class so that we are going to access i will write express dot router what it will do it will be creating new router object and using this we can easily handle http request and this entire value i am just going to assign to one variable i will give the variable name as router and then finally below this i am just going to export this router i will be writing default export and here i will write router whenever we are doing default export while importing this we can give any name now inside this product routes whatever route i have given inside this server.js i will copy this entire thing cut it from here and inside this i'm just going to define 
So in this way, we are going to give our routes. Let me just give here. I will write here routes. Now in place of app, we are simply going to use this router. Because using this router class, we are creating new instance of router. So in this way, we are going to give our router. I will save. Now inside this server.js, I have created these two functions. I will copy, cut it from here. I will open this controller folder and inside this, I am going to create another file product controller.js. And inside this file, I am going to paste both the functions. Now, these functions I am using inside this product route. So, I have to export this function. Here, I will write export and I will be doing named export, which means Whenever I import this function, I should be giving the same name. I will write here export. Now save it. Come to this product routes. Inside this, we are using these functions. So we have to import this function. Remove this last letter, right? Hit enter. Function will be imported from this file. Again, remove the last letter. Hit enter. This function will be imported from product controller file but here we are using esm module whenever we are importing we should always use .js extension and as this is named export we will be wrapping in curly braces but now whatever code we have written inside server.js entire thing we have removed and we have created better folder structure and added the code in separate files. But now this route I have to define somewhere and that we will define inside this global app.js file. So first we have to import the router. I will write here import. Instead of giving the router, I will give the name as product. I will write from I will come inside this routes folder and from here I'm just going to access this product routes.js. And here inside this we have done default export of router. So while importing we can give any name. Later on we will have multiple routes for user for orders. So that is the reason I have given the name as product. Then below this we have to specify the route. And for that, we will be using middleware. Here, I will write app.use. Inside this, we have to specify the path. Here, I will write api slash api slash v1. And then inside this, I will be passing my product route. Whatever we have imported, I am just going to pass that route. But now, inside this product route also, I have given the same thing. Now let us see what happens. First, I will save. Come here. This is my products. Click on this send. As soon as I click on send, I will have this error. Why? Because here also I have given the same thing. And here also I have given the same thing. So from here, I will remove this entire thing. Because this particular path we have already defined inside this route. And again, from here, I will remove this entire thing. Now, inside this product, we will have both the routes. And after this, after this path, if I write products, it is going to call this get all products. And after v1, if I write this product, it is going to call this function. Now, let us check. Click on send. Now you can see I am having the output. I will come here. Now this is product. After API v1, if I give product, click on send, it will be calling this get single product function and whatever response I am having, that will be displayed. Okay, you should be very careful while defining this structure because this is the most important structure which most of us will follow whenever we are writing express code. As of now, we are not working on this single product. I will remove this. 
and from here i will remove this entire function and inside this app.js you do not have to change anything again i will come here close this i do not want to save i will click on send i am not getting the output from this i will remove this import save it come here click on send i will be having the result now in postman what you have to do click on this plus click on blank collection and here i will give the collection name as mern e-commerce hit enter new collection will be created and here we are having three dots click on this we will add folder and for this folder i will give the name as product now here we are having this route click on save select this month e-commerce select product and here we will change the request name we will write get all products and click on save now easily instead of copy pasting multiple times we can easily come to collection as soon as we click on this here we will have entire route and when we click on this we will have the result so always specify proper structure in this postman if you don't specify then multiple times you have to copy and paste and you have to repeat the same thing if you're having any doubt you can ask in comment section so that i can solve your doubts